I have a new item to show you today. It is a single cup coffee maker. Let's take a look at the box. This is the name of the company that makes this coffee maker. And that's the model. It is a single cup coffee maker. That's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here it is. And uh, it's black, with uh, has a chrome accent here and here. Uh, it has a pretty small footprint for or on top of your countertop, which is definitely something to consider. Uh, I like that it's tall. Some of the other single cup coffee machines, um, you can only put like, say, maybe like a squatty little cup. But if you want to do, say, a larger travel cup like that, you can't on a lot of the other ones. So this one, see how tall it is, you can do that. So that's definitely uh, a nice feature. This is the power button here. It's not turned on yet. Uh, over here you have, let's see here, there's a little uh, drip tray. So if it drips, it doesn't go out on the counter. And um, this is how you open up the top right up here. You turn it and then it comes up. Here, this is where you fill the water in, and this is where you put your uh, coffee cup. Now you have two options. This is nice. You can use the the little store bought ones. This is actually a generic one. I think I got this from Walmart. And then it comes with its own little refillable basket if you want to go ahead and make your own coffee. Uh, which is the plus is you save a lot of money and the second thing is you're gonna have a better taste in coffee when you grind it right before you make it uh, I love doing that so you can either put that in like that or you take that out and then you put that in <laughs> so you got your you got your choice I like that. So I filled it up with water. I got the, the little K cup right here. Then I push down and that punctures that. And then I lock it into place. Okay, so for brewing it, you can use like a shorter cup. Uh, if you want to use your tall mug, uh, this is really nice. I think that's the main feature I like about it is being able to use um, tall mugs, especially if you're like making your coffee to go to work. Stick your mug under here, it makes it really fast. But for now, I'm going to use this one so that you can actually see the coffee going into the into the cup. You'll see here it has the blue light. It's let you know that it's on and it's ready to start brewing. It has to heat up the water first. Here we go. Let's make some coffee. Coffee. Ooh, here we go. This actually was pretty fast from putting uh, ice cold water in there uh, to this point. So I like that. Boils pretty fast. Uh, I'm not sure how much water I put in there. Not a lot. I didn't want to overfill it. Okay, so that's good. It turns off by itself once it runs out of water. So you really only want to put in as much water as you need for that particular cup. Let's take a look. And, uh, yeah. Made a really nice looking cup of coffee. Um, let's see if I was going to be using my mug. That would be the fit for that there. And, um, Actually, I think this works even better if you have a taller uh, cup because this one, the distance from here to here, a little bit of splashing out just because it's going <laughs> a longer distance for the stream of coffee. So you're better off having a taller cup when you're using this uh, coffee maker. 
Okay, so my uh, overall opinion of this uh, coffee maker single cup. Uh, a lot of good positive things about it. Um, the things I like the best about it is that I can fit a tall mug in here. Um, I first had gotten the little coffee makers where you couldn't <laughs> put but a little tinny little squatty cup in underneath it. So this makes this really, really practical. And if I want to put a short cup, I can. Uh, but I think this works best when you have the tall cup so that you don't have as, any kind of splashing. Uh, but also you can make a really large cup of coffee as opposed to some of the other ones that are the squatty ones. And this, I love this, this is another big positive. Uh, by grinding my own coffee, I save money and I have better taste in coffee by grinding it myself. So I'm very happy about that. There you go. And uh, I like the small footprint it has on the countertop. Very simple. Uh, I don't like things that are too complicated and involve too much programming. I just want, I want to hit a button and I want it to do what it's supposed to do and turn off when it's done. And that's exactly what it does. There's two buttons, one for a K-cup and one if you have this cup. And then that's it. And you put the water in and uh, you fill the water up uh, for clean. Easy to just take this out and then empty that, rinse that out and uh, not a lot to it. So um, yeah, check it out. I'll put the link below the video. If you like this video, feel free to hit subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye.